Yo, you want to learn more about these t-shirt trade shows? Let me help you out. Fat Man Scoop, Brooklyn Clan. What's up, y'all? This is Fat Man Scoop. And right now, you're watching The Sensei, the number one, the king, my dude, Big Brando. You taught me, personally, me, Fat Man Scoop. All you got to do is keep your mouth closed and your ears open. Listen to the man talk. That's knowledge personified right there. And I wouldn't trust nobody else but my dude, Big Brando. And I said it. Fat Man Scoop, Big Brando. Let's go. What's up, everybody? Boy Big Brando, and today let's talk about garment decorating trade shows or t-shirt trade shows. So from my last recap video of the Impressions Expo, there's a lot of people that were asking me, can you make more videos about these trade shows? How can I find these trade shows? Are they for everybody? What's my take on these trade shows? So I'll give you a small little breakdown in this video right here. So the one that I was talking about is the Impressions Expo. It used to be called ISS. Now it's called Impressions Expo. It's ran by the Impressions Group. If you just Google search Impressions Expo or ISS Trade Show, it should all pop up. This is one of the biggest ones that I know of. The one in Long Beach, from what I've heard from everybody else that I've talked to, is the one in, is the one that happens in Long Beach every January is one of the biggest shows out there. I know Atlantic City has one. Somewhere in Texas has one. Those are the only ones that I'm kind of familiar with. You would have to look up Impressions Expo and find out you know, where that show goes and then how close it is to you. But the Impressions Expo in Long Beach is one of the biggest ones. Like I said in the last video, I've been going to this show for years. It's grown tremendously since the first time I went to this show. And I will say this, long time ago, there was a lot of gatekeepers at that show because everything was so heavily geared towards screen printers at the time that the heat presser and any other print method was kind of frowned upon within that space. Obviously things have changed now. So a lot of it was like other print shops going there and getting information. Not too many clothing brand guys out there getting information. Mainly contract printers were out there learning about new blanks, learning about new inks, looking for new equipment and that sort of stuff. When I was introduced to that show, I went with clothing brand owners. I went as a clothing brand owner myself. Then I said, damn, this is where I need to be so I could find all these blanks. I could find out where all these people are located. I could start putting pieces to the puzzle for myself. As most of you guys know, I don't do too much overseas stuff. I don't do all the drop shipping stuff. I don't order from other countries. I know it's cheaper to go that route and I know you could get a lot of crazy stuff made that way. Personally, I don't do it that way. So if this is your first time going to the show, you Google searched it, you found out it's coming close to you, how do you register? So first things first, when registration opens up, usually it's free. They have a lot of like workshops and seminars and stuff like that you could sign up for and pay for. But if you just wanted to go to the trade show and walk around the event floor, it's free. But it's only free from like a certain time to a certain time. They do a cutoff. So as it gets closer to the show, they cut the free thing off and then they start charging like 20 or $30 to get in. Still not a bad deal, but you can still get in for free. The beauty of that, say you miss the registration date and it's like maybe two, three weeks out from the actual show happening. You go to the impressions website and then it's like, oh, you gotta pay $36 or whatever the cost is. Like, man, I, I don't know if I wanna pay that. If you follow a lot of the transfer companies, blank t-shirt companies on Instagram or any kind of social media, they have registration coupon codes so you could still get in for free. You just type in their coupon code and then you get free admission. So highly recommend following a lot of these transfer companies on social media highly recommend following some of these blank t-shirt manufacturers and stuff like that one you'll know if they're going to be at the show or not two if they are going to be there chances are they have a free discount code for you to register if you miss the free registration block so registration free if you wanted to go to the workshops and seminars and hear people speak and teach you and all that stuff you have to pay for that kind of stuff. I met one of the homies out there this past show that signed up for a lot of the seminars and workshops, and he uses that time to really learn about anything you wanna learn about, right? Whether it's creating more profit, whether it's new techniques, whether it's design stuff, whatever workshops they have to offer from the people speaking, he finds a really, really good benefit in going to these workshops. I've never attended any of these workshops, and sometimes I think some of the content creators have their own workshops also. I think years ago, like in 2020, 
one of the last ones that I went to, uh, the t-shirt chick was having a workshop or something like that. So stuff like that, there's a benefit to that. All right, so now that you're registered, you got in for free, you got your stuff, you made your arrangements, whether it's out of state and you have to fly there, drive there, find somewhere to stay, all that good stuff, you take care of all of that. Now it's time for the show. This is my strategy. Usually it's a three-day show, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Before I used to get on YouTube, talk about t-shirts. This was my strategy going into this show. Or even after I got onto YouTube, I still do the same exact thing. I plan out what I want to look at, right? So if I want to find a new transfer company, let's say I'm not happy with the transfer company that I currently have. I want to test out samples from other transfer companies. I set out to do that. So I find out every transfer company that's going to be there. I pinpoint the ones I really want to like use, and then I'll get sample packs from them and I'll talk their ear off in their booth. I'll ask every single question I have to the representative in the booth. That's what they're there for. So let's just say I see 613 three originals on social media all the time. I've never used them. I'm like, man, I want to use these transfers. This is the best place to figure out who 613 Originals is. So now I could go to their booth and be like, all right, check it out. I wanna see what your like retro vintage transfer looks like compared to your very opaque varsity standard transfer looks like, right? And then let's say you wanna do single and double color and then you also wanna see what they have to offer for multicolor. There in their booth will show you everything. And sometimes they have a heat press there where you could press it on yourself and get a good feel for it, but they will make sure you go home with a sample pack so you could test it out on your own t-shirts on your own press. So it's one thing to email 613 Originals and be like, hey, check it out. I, I like your transfers. I, I want to start using you. Can you send me a sample pack? They'll do that for you, right? But when you go to this trade show, you have every transfer company under one roof. So now you could go to 613 Originals. Then you could go to Transfer Express. Then you could go to Supercolor. Then you could go to whatever transfer company is out there. Get sample packs. Ask those same questions to everybody there. I always want to know about turnaround time. That's a big one for myself. I live in Los Angeles. If that transfer company is on the East Coast, I need to know how fast they could get the transfers to me in Los Angeles. So I always look for turnaround time. I rarely talk about pricing with them in their booth because I know it depends on how many you order, size of sheet and all that good stuff. There's a little bit of logistics that goes into that. So I don't care too much about price. I wanna make sure that I can lay these things down so I get the sample pack. And then I wanna know about turnaround time. How fast do they turn these things around? Where are they located within the country? These are most important to myself. Now I go back home and I test out all these transfers. And and you know me, I made videos on this before. When they give you the sample pack, there's maybe like two or three of each ink formula that they offer. What I do personally is I cut that one transfer up into like six pieces, and then I press each little piece at different settings. That way it gives me a better chance to try out multiple settings with these transfers instead of pressing the whole design on. I'll cut that design into six squares and then I'll just press them on at different settings. I'll wash the shirt just to see how it reacts at different settings and which one holds up the best. That's my strategy. You could do something else, but that's what works easy for myself. Because when you get the sample packs, like I said, there's only two or three of each ink formula. And what if you really wanna test out their vintage or retro formula, but then you only get three shots at doing it, like three chances, right? So what I do is I just take one of those, cut it into six pieces, and now I have six times I could test out different settings. That makes any sense. So lock in a strategy before you go, because it's very overwhelming. When you get to the trade show, there's stuff moving, there's people yelling, there's people everywhere. There's presses going off, there's salesmen everywhere, there's embroidery machines going off, there's music going. It's a lot and it's very overwhelming to like really, really grasp what's going on in there. So I like to just keep it nice and easy with the plan before I step onto the trade show floor. That way, tunnel vision, I'm ready. I'm like, all right, let me look for these transfer companies. And after you do your homework, circle back and then walk every aisle and see what else is out there. You know what I mean? So start out with a plan. Sometimes I'm like, hey, I need to find me a jacket manufacturer. This is how I found the people that made my varsity jackets, like the Letterman style jackets. I found them at, at the Impressions Expo. I set out to find a manufacturer that could do a full custom jacket for me. I was already used to using Augusta and Holloway and those companies that have the standard size jackets or the standard color jackets. But I needed somebody that could make a full custom. If I wanted to do wool sleeves, wool body, if I wanted to do leather sleeves, wool body, if I wanted to change different color sleeves, different color elastics, all that stuff. Maybe I wanted zipper instead of buttons, or maybe I wanted it to be reversible. I needed somebody that could do a full custom. So I set out to find a jacket manufacturer there, which I found. So when you set out to say like, this is what I wanna do research on, or I want more information on, you're a little bit more locked in. So then that way you know what questions you wanna ask, you know the information you want, right? When you go 
there and you don't, you're just going and you have no plan in mind, it gets overwhelming and you're looking at everything and all that information is like going in one ear and out the other one because you're not really retaining what you set out to do, you know what I mean? So if you wanted to get into DTF and there's a million people selling DTF printers there, all you gotta do is walk around and be like, hey, you know what, I'm thinking about getting a DTF printer. Talk to everybody selling a printer. Ask them every question that you have about that thing. Let them explain the product to you without you trying to assume what the product is, you know what I mean? Now, let's say you don't even have a plan in mind. Maybe you're just like, hey, this is my first time going, I just wanna experience everything. That's 100% fine. There's nothing wrong with that. That's how I usually plan out my weekend. Friday, I go there so I can do all of my research. Everything I need to do, all the information that I want, I want to get there. Saturday, my chill day. I just cruise around, look at stuff. I have nothing really in mind of what I wanna do. I'm just cruising around and seeing what happens. Sunday is when I circle back with the companies I already spoke with and I wanna get more information. Maybe I wanna build with them a little bit more. Usually that's how I play that thing out. If you're going for one day, early in the morning, get there, do your research. In the middle of the day, cruise around, do your thing. Right before the show closes, go back and touch base with the people you connected with in the morning. That simple. Now, some people might just want to go and meet some of the content creators like myself. And that's cool too, because there's a lot of us walking around because we're there doing the same exact thing, right? Like we're going to check out some different transfer companies or blank t-shirt companies or whatever. So as we're walking around, obviously we're very accessible where you could, you know, come up to us, take a picture, talk to us, hang out. That's what I do. And I'm pretty sure all the other content creators are exactly the same where they they would love to meet everybody out there you know what i mean because that's how i am so if that's what you're going for for like the social aspect of it really dope place to do it man good place to network good place to meet new people good place to promote yourself and a lot of people think that this place is somewhere that it's like complex con or agenda or the magic show where you're there to get new customers not necessarily you know what i mean if you're going there to promote your clothing brand cool but at the same exact time what you have to remember is the other people at that show are there doing the same thing they own clothing brands also. They're doing research also. So maybe not your target audience, but teach their own, man. Get it how you live. And if you wanted to do that and promote yourself that way, by all means, go for it. There was one year that I had seen these two dudes come out and they were draped in their own clothing and they were giving out flyers and business cards and all this stuff. Then I caught them across the street at the bar maybe close to closing time of the trade show. And they were talking about how successful it was for them to be able to give out a lot of stuff. Then when I talked to them, I'm like, you know, a lot of these guys own print shops also. They, they own their own brands also. They do their own thing. It didn't click in their brain because they were thinking clothing trade show. So that's where they need to be because that's how Agenda and Magic used to be is you get out there and you're there to promote your clothing brand or your clothing line. You know what I mean? Because some people are trying to get buyers for them or they're trying to get on somebody's line sheet. You know what I mean? That's just the nature of that game. This trade show a little bit different, but if you wanted to go for it, by all means do it, man. I ain't trying to stop nobody. And last but not least, Impressions Expo is not the only expo out there. It's not the only trade show. There's another one that comes to Long Beach in August called the Graphics Expo, I believe. Happens at the Long Beach Convention Center also. Not as big as Impressions, but still the same people under one roof. That one's a little bit more geared towards like marketing stuff and like uh, signage and things of that nature. Not necessarily fully focused around garment decoration decorating, but the blank companies are there, transfer companies are there, a lot of the same vendors are there. A little bit different, but still the same. And then there's a new one, I think it's called Printers United or Printing United, happens in Vegas. I didn't go to that one, I think it happens in October or September, sometime like that. I've never been to that one, but I know a lot of the content creators were going to that one this past year, um, so I would look into that one. So Impressions Expo, Google search if it comes close to you, whatever one is closest within the country to you, highly recommend going to. Highly recommend going to the one in Long Beach, at the beginning of the year because everybody says that's the biggest one. Can't make it to that one, Graphics Expo. I know it comes to Long Beach. I don't know if it goes anywhere else. And that one comes in August. And then Printers United or Printing United, I believe happens in Vegas, September or October timeframe. All right, if you got any questions, make sure you leave it in the comments. Follow me on Instagram, Big Brando TV. Catch you guys on the next one, man, yeah.